In this question, it says using the series expansions of sine x and cos x, show that 3 sine x minus 4x cos x plus x is equal to 3 over 2x cubed minus 17 over 120 x to the fifth and so on. And then hence find the limit as x approaches 0, 3 sine x minus 4x cos x plus x over x cubed. OK, let's look at the McLaurin expansion for sine x. McLaurin expansion for sine x is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. Cos x is given to be 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. We're going to use these now, and we're going to plug these in to the left-hand side right here. So we've got three lots of sine x. Well, sine x is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, 3 factorial is 6, plus now x to the 5th over 5 factorial, 5 factorial being 120. Then we're going to have minus a 4x multiplied by cos x. That's going to be 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial, which is 2. And then we're going to have plus um, x to the 4th over 4 factorial, which will give me x to the 4th, 4 factorial is 24. OK, and then what we need to do is add to that x, and we want that to equal the right-hand side. So let's expand this out. We're going to have 3x, and then we're going to have, what's that going to be, 3 over 6, so we're going to have minus x cubed over 2. Just looking at the form they want it in, they want this uh, over 120, so I'm actually going to leave that. I'm going to say that this is going to be plus 3x to the fifth over 120. Then we're going to have minus 4x. Then we're going to have plus 4x cubed over 2, which gives me plus 2x cubed. And then we're going to have minus 4x to the fifth, so minus 4x to the fifth over 24. OK, and then our little x at the end. So let's collect terms in x. What we've got now is 3x minus 4x plus x is equal to 0. We've got no terms in x squared. We have got terms in x cubed. We've got 2x cubed minus x cubed over 2, which will, of course, give us 1.5, or 3 over 2x cubed. We've got no terms in x to the fourth. So now terms in x to the fifth, we've got 3 over 120 x to the fifth. Now, if we convert this into 120ths, we need to multiply that, what's that by 5. So we'll have minus 20 over 120 x to the fifth. So if we put this in, we've got minus 20 over 120 x to the fifth, which, of course, is going to give us minus 17 over 120 x to the fifth. So what we can now say is quite clearly, and that's what they wanted, it is equal now to the following. 3 over 2x cubed, then we've got minus 17 over 20, uh, 120x to the fifth, and so on and so forth. The next part of the question, hence, find the limit as x tends to 0 of 3 sine x minus 4x cos x plus x. Now just consider, if we split all of this here by x cubed, you can see what we're going to be left with now is the following. The x cubed will cancel, we'll have 3 over 2, and then what we're going to do is have minus 17 over 120x to the uh, second power, and you know these are only, as x is going to be tending to zero, all we're ever going to get now are increasing powers of x here, and this is just, all of these are going to tend to zero, so we're left simply now with 3 over 2. That is the only term independent of x. As x tends to zero, x squared is going to get very small, x, the next one along, when we're going to have um, x to the fourth, is going to get very small, and so on and so forth. So as x approaches uh, 0, all of this divided by x cubed will approach 3 over 2.